of financial information about the markets and tries to automatically infer different investment styles, like different value investing styles, different growth investing styles, and so forth, that it seems uh, will be likely to outperform in the long run. And how has it fared so far? I mean, what, has it, what have you learned from using this algorithm to, in a sense, peer into the future a little bit? Well, it's made some very interesting decisions. Um, it's, uh, for example, reducing international exposure before a lot of information came about the problems in Greece. Uh, and so that sometimes we look at the system and, and we're impressed with decisions like this. Now, you've likened the use of this kind of artificial intelligence, this machine learning, to almost a, a computer that learns about an elevator that goes up and down and really understands which floors it stops in and which times people really want to use the elevator. Well, there's a simple analogy I use to explain machine learning sometimes. A traditional elevator works by simply coming whenever someone calls for it. But you can imagine a machine learning elevator that stores all of the history of every person who's ever called for it at different times of the day, different days of the week, and then tries to automatically infer what floor it should be waiting at at different times to minimize people's waiting time. Now, how do you deal with uh, events that can't be predicted? I mean, for example, the resignation of Mark Hurd from Hewlett Packard as chief executive. Are those types of data points also figured out in the algorithm that you use? Well, every style of investing has certain information that it can't take into account. Well, there are always uncertainties about the future. And that's why investors have to hold a diversified basket of securities so that when they're occasionally wrong, uh, hopefully will be offset by other securities where they'll be correct. Now, you got to make the distinction between artificial intelligence and machine learning mm -hmm. and the kind of algorithmic directed trading, the kind of day trading that goes on right. using high frequency algorithms. What's the difference between those two? Right. So a lot of quantitative trading is extremely high frequency, moving in and out of a stock many times a day or turning over the whole portfolio in a couple weeks. The kind of investing that we do is much longer term. Our average holding time is over four months. We sometimes hold stocks for multiple years. So we think of our system as trying to imitate an investor rather than a trader by using artificial intelligence. Now, by trying to imitate an investor, how do you determine what data goes into the filtering and sifting process that the computer then undertakes? Well, of course, the old adage of garbage in, garbage out applies. If you give a system information that has no predictive power, it's not going to be good no matter how good your learning algorithm is. So you want to choose factors that you think are, will actually relate to stock performance. And particularly, we, the way we view it is we want to choose factors that relate to many different styles of investing, value investing, growth investing, momentum investing, and so forth. To determine which ones will be the most profitable. Well, that way our system can try and learn which subsets of factors represent uh, diff uh, strategies that seem like they're going to be successful. Now, how did you come up with this idea? I mean, where did this, uh, where, where was this created? Well, so I studied math and computer science at Columbia University, and my business partner, Alexander Fleiss, had made money personally investing and decided to launch a fund and pulled me in to be the head of strategy development. And that's when I realized that machine learning had huge applications in finance. All right, I want to thank you very much, Spencer Greenberg, coming to us from Rebellion Research, uh, sharing some thoughts about artificial intelligence and machine learning and applying